Peace, 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 fam. This is part two. Yeah, that's what I thought. I can see it now. Okay, whatever. Peace, 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 fam. This is Chocolate Almond Rock. Excuse me. Um, you know, I'm making a little lunch for us to go to work. But what I was saying to y'all earlier that um, let's pay all due respects to the creator. Pay all due respects. The sun rises. Good morning. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, now. What I'm going to tell y'all, I'm going to finish what I'm saying, because this is part two. Okay. When you got brothers sitting there questioning, we know we have brothers that they were con artists and stuff like that. We know that. Well, that's the case, you might as well the world is gone because ain't nobody's been speaking the truth anyway. Everybody's been giving you half-truths and all this other bullshit. Think about it. Think about it. Who's been telling the truth? Huh? Who's been telling the truth and who's been telling a lie? You know what I'm saying? And why is the truth wasn't revealed? And then when brothers, when black men begin to tell the truth like John Henry Clark and, and um, Ben Jehoshaphat, Dr. Ben, when they, they've been in the scene since the 70s, okay? Not only just them, you have black women who sit up here. We choose not to listen to them. Then you have the black part, the Black Panther movement. I mean, even, listen, a lot of y'all might not want to agree with this, but even... The Muslims was telling the truth. Yes, well, Malcolm X, the Honorable Loser, the Honorable, um, oh, excuse me. Before the Honorable Loser was far gone, you had Elijah, the Honorable Elijah, Elijah. Then you had Malcolm X. You know what I'm saying? Even Muhammad Ali was telling you what time it is. But you didn't want to believe nothing. You don't want to believe nothing. Oh my God. You know, black people been telling telling y'all what time it is for, for so long, but you people don't want to listen to nothing. But then the minute they go, we have a Messiah. We have somebody who we could follow. Oh, I'm ready to obey because I'm going to go to hell. You tell me why in the Bible don't tell you, Adam and Eve, this is in the Bible, don't go to hell. Huh? I want all y'all to listen to this. Why it does not say Adam and Eve when they were the first one who started this so-called the beginning of sin? Hmm? And if now here's the other so-called if you if you geniuses out there, if you believe in your mind, if you believe in your mind that Adam and Eve was first, okay? Even though they tell you Adam and Eve were white, this is what you believe. But then you turn around, and then all of a sudden the same people tell you that Adam and Eve was on this planet first, right? They tell you this bullshit, this bull crap. And then from there, now you 30, 40 years old, because you learn all this Adam and Eve stuff. Then they tell you, no, the original man who started on the planet Earth was a black man. Now, how are you going to get this concept that if Adam and Eve was white, they the original people on the planet, the first, but then all of a sudden science and, and then historians are telling you, no, the black man was here first. Now don't act like you didn't hear this shit, because you know it. You heard it. So now how are you supposed to think of your psychic that you hear that this, that Adam and Eve is supposed to be first? The word Adam and Eve. Something for you to think about, but you don't want to. You don't want to because it's going to mess up with your psychic. All y'all do it. It mess up with your psychic because you don't want to believe the conception of what, how people have been lying to you. And the people have been lying to you is white people. They were the first. Black people have been lying to you. You know why they've been lying? Because they've been teaching the same fucking theology system to you because 
this, the system they learn. Y'all talking about Harvard and all this extinguished fucking college. Harvard and them ain't no extinguished fucking thing. Ain't even with a goddamn coat. You think Harvard and them is some extinguished, lavish um, institution. It's bullshit. What they teaching them kids? Huh? What they teaching them kids? They ain't teaching them a goddamn thing. They teaching them shit how to get over in the world. That's what you don't know. Because you don't want to. A lot of those kids that come from Harvard, you think they're successful? You honestly think a lot of those kids come from Harvard? They're successful? You dreaming. You dreaming. Them college, them, a lot of them kids come from Harvard. They a mess in half. A mess. Them kids don't be coming from Harvard knowing that God damn Y'all so damn fucking institutionalized. You believe this bullshit. Literally. You believe it. I can tell you right now. Think about it. Think. The average person that comes from school, from college, they can't find the jobs they're looking for. Think. Think. How many people that's at your job have college degrees? They're going to tell you, I got a college degree and I can't find it. Think. Think, 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 think. Common sense. Huh? But you keep, you want to believe everything will come out of my mouth. Now listen here. You don't want to think. You think. Think about what you're saying and, what you're, and how you're doing things. Okay? You act the way you act because you don't want to know nothing. Okay? You don't want to know. You think somebody's insulting you every time you get a chance. Nobody's insulting you. It's to tell you the truth, but you don't want to see the truth. Literally, you don't want to know the truth. Okay? So you don't want to know the truth. So what you do, you sit there and you get mad. You find something. You go, well, church. Church has been the background of um, what y'all been doing. And it's the truth. It's been a background. The church has been a background. Like that. You know what I'm saying? But if you understand, you don't want to do no studying. And I understand that because it's, it's a goddamn pain in the ass to be doing all that stuff. You, know what I'm you just want to live your life and, and, and do what you want to do. Right? Because this is what society told you to do. You know what I'm saying? Live your life and do what you want to do. You don't want to be structured and stuff like that. But when you go to church, some of y'all are in this structure, man. A lot of y'all go to church to get the word, you feel good, and you're going by your business. This is the, just the truth. This is understandable. So, you feel this way, so you go like this here, why I got to go through this, and why I got to do that? I know that. I know what you do. You know what I'm saying? All right. Here we here. I'm outside. Well, I'm about to go to work. But I, look, this, I wasn't going to just let this message go. Okay, I wasn't going to do that. And, um... I want y'all to understand something. A lot of y'all, including myself, if you're not using common sense, you don't understand or you're not clear on how the world works. Okay? It's clear, cut, and dry. What a lot of our black leaders have learned from the white institutions. White people never had institutions if you go back in ancient times. You see, if you don't do a little research, let me tell you something how easy this is. We got brothers and sisters who have done the homework for us, but you don't want to take time and learn anything because if you learn, it's going to take away what you believe. That's the bottom line. We could talk about ancient times. <clears throat> we could talk about the blood cells. You could talk about all that stuff. But what is that going to do now? Is this going to help you into the future? Do you understand that? What that's going to do? It helps you to understand how civilization from modern time works. What the white people have done over the centuries. That's what it does help for you to understand the conception of how white people works. That's what happens. But if you don't understand it and you don't want this, 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 um, based knowledge, but also having the knowledge and not doing nothing with it is another thing. We have to understand this first. That our own people, because if you don't want to accept that, then you're going to still talk in a bunch of bullshit. Our own people 
from ancient times. Remember, it wouldn't be no slavery if our own people have fucking fought, snatched our asses up away from the Arabs, went to war, but they didn't do that. They gave hundreds of thousands of people away. A lot of y'all don't want to understand that. Come on, man. You Google this shit up, read the books, whatever the case may be. And then when you understand that factor, then you'll be able to understand how the, the operation of the system of things is taking place. Why people only mimicking what they see. Then from that point, they go, listen here. These people are stubborn. They're hard-headed which we are. This is what makes us great. Don't take it stubborn and hard-headed in a negative way. It's only used negative because we use it to each other and that's why we like, oh, I can't stand this motherfucker. This is why we sit up here and we have these different issues because we don't want to sit there and want to understand the true concept, the true concept on what we know or don't know. Literally, you don't want to know this. You don't want to know these things. All you want to do is sit there and just be believe in what somebody else stated to you. That's all. And listen here. You have the right to do so, but then don't get mad when the truth presents itself. You're getting mad when the truth presents itself. You don't want to accept the truth. You're dysfunctional. Not in the fact that you don't know what you're doing. You're dysfunctional. It's the fact that you don't want to take part of trying to understand. You understand that? That's what makes you dysfunctional. And then that's why you question other black people that have this knowledge. And when you question them, you make sure that you go through this heavy regiment. You make sure that you do that. Because you had other black leaders who was con artists, who or, or fell off grace, if you will. They fell off grace. But you put them on the pedestal of this high standard when you're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to put somebody in a high standard and then when they make a mistake, you fucking chopping them up. But well, I know one thing, a lot of you black church people, I give you this. You see our church people? A lot of black church leaders fell off, but they, they stuck behind them. See, black people are loyal. They're loyal to who they want to be loyal to. But remember this, y'all. I'm about to get off. If you don't understand the society, you got to understand yourself first. You have to understand yourself first. Understand how our people, from ancient times to now, and why things are the way they are. Understand? The white people ain't going to sit there and help you. They're not going to do that. Don't think they are because they're not going to. First of all, they've been telling you a fucking a false tale anyway. They've been telling you a false tale all this time. And some of y'all starting to get it and realize, yo, they've been lying. Even white people are starting to say, yo, they've been lying. You have a lot of white people who do know that the history has been told in schools it's been a lie, but they're not gonna tell you that. Cause they thinking that you already know. That's why they think that you're aggressive and you're mad, but you're not mad. You want respect. You want respect from the white man, which cause you think somehow he's the leader, but he ain't no fucking leader. He's not the original man, he never was. Until you understand this cops, this concept, <laughs> until you truly do, then you will wake yourself. Everything is in front of you. You got brothers and sisters out here is pushing the envelope. 
and chocolate almond raw. Wake the fuck up! <laughs>